Hey guys, Shalpen here. In this video I'm going to show you how to recreate the main synth sound from Billie Eilish's Wish You Were Gay. It sounds something like this. So in this video I'm going to show you how to recreate the main uh, chord synth that is being played at the chorus of Wish You Were Gay by Billie Eilish. So I've split this sound into a couple of different synth instances, including a main synth sound, a backing synth, a triangle lead, and an 808. So let's start with the main synth sound. It sounds like this. Uh, this is a fairly simple patch. Uh, I'm only using one oscillator, and it is set to um, a blend between a triangle wave and... Um, a sort of sow wave and its volume is set all the way up and all of the other oscillators are set to zero and then I'm using a low pass filter that has its cutoff pretty low uh, its resonance is set to zero and I'm using envelope number two to increase its uh, cutoff by a tiny bit and here's how envelope number two works basically what it does is uh, it takes some time for the cutoff to go up and then it takes some time for the cutoff to decay and it has zero sustain so here's how it sounds like and if it had some sustain uh, we would hear the cutoff stay up all, all the way but without sustain it goes back down like that so the same thing goes for the uh, volume envelope which is volume uh, and which is envelope number one we have some attack time and some decay time so that means that uh, the volume goes up and then goes back down which gives us this sound and then I've added a couple of effects I've added a chorus uh, it is set to all the way wet but with very low def and a medium rate here's how it sounds with higher def settings so it's very exaggerated so I'm keeping it at a very low setting at around 20 percent here's how it sounds without it and here's how it sounds with it it's very subtle. Another effect that I've added is rotary, which is basically sort of like a tremolo and a chorus and some slight distortion blended all together. Um, I've set the drive to around 8%, so it adds some slight distortion and it's mixed all the way in. Here's how it sounds without it. Here's how it sounds with it. You can hear some slight distortion uh, in the background of the sound. So this is it for the main synth sound, and for the backing synth, basically it's exactly the same sound. There's nothing different, the, the only difference is in, in the effects that I've added afterwards. So let's see the effects that I've added to the main synth first. Here they are. I've added an isotope uh, neutrino, which is basically sort of like a multiband compressor, but it has uh, a lot of bands, like 30 different bands. And it's supposed to help you uh, bring out some details in your instrument. So here's how it sounds without it. Here's how it sounds with it. Uh, it's very subtle. So it's nice to be there and uh, you can get it for free if you want. Um, in addition to that, there's some slight bit crushing. It adds a nice effect and it cuts through the mix uh, pretty good thanks to the bit crushing. And then there's an EQ that removes some of the very sharp frequencies of the beat crushing, but also increases the high mids right here. Which sort of brings out the chorus uh, that we added a bit more. So for the backing synth, we have the exact same effects, the neutrino, the beat crusher, and the EQ. And then I've added a couple of additional effects, uh, including some more chorus. Here's how it sounds like. I'll bring it up compared to so some slight chorus uh, some dimension expanding some room reverb uh, it is set to 50% wet and then another EQ that brings uh, down the very low frequencies since we added a lot of room reverb and dimension expanding and chorus and we don't want uh, mud to gather up in that area and I've increased the mids and the high mids a bit. So basically it's the same sound, but thanks to these effects, uh, it sounds like uh, 
it's very in the back of the truck, which helps us blend it with the main sound for a bigger and wider sound altogether, like that. So once we have these two sounds, I'm going to go to the triangle lead. Now this is a very subtle sound, it's basically just uh, a triangle wave and its cutoff is set to pretty low on a low pass filter and it has uh, been set to legato and it has some slight glide but not too much. It basically plays only the high notes of the chords and it adds uh, a very nice layer to them. Here's how it sounds like. I'm going to increase its volume so you can hear it better. So basically all it does is add some mid frequencies to our main synth and our backing synth so all together they sound like this. And then once we add an 808 that is being uh, processed by some Camel Crusher which is a slight distortion plugin and then an EQ to remove all of the uh, high end artifacts to the distortion added. Here's how it sounds without all of the effects. And here's how it sounds with the distortion. So it has a lot of high end that is very unnecessary. So once we remove it, it sounds like this. So blended all together, it should sound like that. And if you want, you can also uh, high pass uh, the main synth and the backing synth so that the 808 can blend a bit better. But I find that keeping uh, the low end in the main synth and the backing synth sounds pretty good on its own, so I'm going to keep that. Now, in case you want to recreate this sound uh, using Serum instead of Diva, you can do that. I'm going to show you how. So what you want is to set uh, your waveform to basic shapes. And you want to go inside the Edit function and you want to crossfade between um, the wavetables. So you can go to the wavetable that is between a saw wave, uh, which is right here, and the triangle wave. So you can get uh, something in the middle, like this. Mm -hmm. Then what you want to do is to set a volume envelope that has some attack time and then decays. So you get uh, that rising and falling sound. Mm -hmm. And you want to use an LFO to modulate a low pass filter, which is right here. Uh, it modulates it from around... 100 Hertz to I think 600 Hertz something like that and then in the effects you want to add some slight uh, uh, Detuning you want to add some dimension expanding uh, You want some slight chorus and you want to make sure that your low pass filter is set to all the way open and If you want to add some slight grit to the sound you can enable the distortion but set the drive to zero or uh, above if you want it Here's how it sounds without the drive. And here's how it sounds with the drive. It sounds slightly more distorted and as you go up it can get a lot more distorted. Which is up to personal taste. And that is pretty much it. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what subject you want me to cover up next time.